infused edibles are a fast-growing segment of Oregon's booming medical marijuana market. Eating marijuana typically leads to a delayed but longer-lasting high. And when it comes to deciding which products to buy, consumers typically consider price, personal preferences, and THC, the psychoactive element in marijuana. So the more potent a product is, the more powerful the effect the consumer experiences. And while the state assures consumers that cannabis-infused goods undergo potency testing before hitting dispensary shelves, the Oregonian Oregon Live found that promise to be an empty one. We commissioned a respected analytical chemist to conduct a detailed potency analysis hmm. of 15 medical marijuana-infused edibles sold in Portland dispensaries. And the results? All over the place. It turned out only one had accurate potency information on its label. Twelve labels overstated the amount of THC. Among them, a chocolate chip cookie that claimed to have 197 milligrams of THC, but instead had 50 milligrams. A pack of orange-flavored gummy candies claimed that each piece contained 25 milligrams of THC. Lab results found only 5 milligrams in each. A pizza claimed to have 350 milligrams of THC, but our analysis found it only had 52 milligrams. And labels on two products actually understated the amount of THC. A container of salted caramel ice cream claimed to have 46 milligrams of THC, but lab results found 70 milligrams. A chocolate truffle claimed to have 75 milligrams of THC, but lab results found 98 milligrams. But why such discrepancies? Testing in Oregon is done by a cottage industry, with an estimated 19 storefront labs operating without state oversight or clear scientific standards. The result? Each lab decides for itself the best way to measure how much THC an edible product contains, which yields inconsistent results. For example, one lab may test a sample from a portion of the product, while another lab may test the entire product with the aim to capture THC that may be concentrated in a certain part of the edible. Other labs may have different methods altogether. And even when labs are staffed by experienced scientists, hmm. Oregon's lack of oversight over labs that test medical marijuana has serious implications for consumer safety when the recreational cannabis market begins to roll out in 2016. Until that changes, what you get in a marijuana-infused edible may not be what you paid for. 